Hi there, this is Sarah from Great Days by Sarah. And let's be honest, sometimes workouts don't go as planned. You plan to get up in the morning and then you're up for a couple hours in the night with your little ones. And unfortunately, the workout is what goes by the wayside, but not today. I'm gonna do my workout anyways, just outside while my kids play at the playground. And I'll show you how we can sneak in a little something and feel better all day. Let's start with a little warm up. Put one knee into your chest and then the opposite. Stand up nice and tall. Start to breathe and just embrace everything around you. It's super windy here today. I hope you can hear me okay. No excuses today. We're getting it in. Straight leg kicks out. Toes towards the sky. Just go as high until you feel your hamstring. Little stretch in the back. Arms are straight and strong. Shoulders away from your ears. Abs are tight. Last one here. Pull it back, quad stretch. Little walk, keep your knees close. Last one here, arm circles back. Big arm circles back. As close as your hands can get at the top and behind. We're not gonna worry about our count today. We're gonna assume that there's a lot going around on around us and we're gonna sneak in what we can. It's the whole purpose of today's workout. And reverse it. This is the perfect one if you do have kids at the playground and you need to stop and become a referee for a little bit and then jump right back in. Backwards and then hug it out. Last one backwards hug it out let's take one deep breath center ourselves here as much as you can exhale hands to heart center let's do this we're going to start with a squat if you have a chair or a bench even better little tap with the glutes behind sitting those hips way back tiny tap and stand it up we're going to focus on form we never know how many we're going to sneak in today so make them all quality reps Make sure your weight is in your heels to the point you can lift your toes even when you're low. Here we go. Last three, two, and one. Stand it up, shake it out, flip it right around. If you have that chair or bench, great. And we're going to do an elevated push up today. I'm going to start on my highest one to continue our warm up. Elbows will go super wide on this one. So hands are a little bit wider than they would be normally. We're coming all the way down, focusing on that range of motion. A little bit more challenge, yeah, lower to a lower bench. Get your chest as close as you can to the ground or whatever you're doing them over. A great modification for this one is against the wall, especially if you're just getting into things. You'll still feel it through your upper body and your core. Let's go three more. Last one. Stand it up, shake it out. Let's go back to those legs. Sumo squats. Spread it out, toes towards the side. Knees will track over your feet. We're going to come down slow, tiny pulse at the bottom, and come right back up. Hands where they're comfortable. Down lowest spot, pulse at the bottom, come up slow. Keep your chest lifted. Keep your breath. Nice work, get a little bit lower, more than halfway through this one. Last three, two, and one. We're not coming back to any of these moves, so make sure you get in as much as you can as we're doing them. Turn it around, this time you will need 
a, an elevated surface or I'll show you how to modify it on the ground if you don't need one. We're going into dips. Hitting the back of your arm to your tricep. I'm going to keep my knees bent for this one. Shoulders roll down and back. Hips stay really close to your chair or your bench. Elbows go to 90 if they can and press back up. If you don't have an elevated space, it can be on the ground. Just get your hips a little higher. Send those elbows straight back. You don't want your elbows going to the side no matter where you're doing them. Here we go, straight down, slow, elbows shoot backwards, and right back up. Abs stay pulled in and tight. A little bit more of a challenge, straighten out your legs. If your elbows start to flail to the side, bring it back to the modification. Last three, two, and one. Sit it back if you're on a chair, shake out your arms. Let's go right back to these legs. We're gonna go lunges. We're gonna up it today by putting one leg up on an up on the elevated surface, or if that's too much, just do it from the ground. I'll show you both. Left leg steps forward first. Back leg is going to be up on the bench, and then picture a straight line from your tailbone, top of your head to the sky, straight down this pole, and straight up. Do it from the ground if the elevation doesn't work for you. Front knee is directly over your front ankle. If you're having a hard time keeping your back foot on the bench, drop it to the floor. Finish it that way. So strong. Last three. Two and one. Stand it up, shake it out. We got right into the other side, right th steps forward. Make sure it's far enough forward that your knee's not sneaking in front of your toe. Left leg reaches back. Picture that straight line, that string, that wall, and we're straight down, straight up. Hands wherever you feel comfortable for the balance. Some days maybe airplane arms work the best. Really tuck that tailbone under. Press strong through your front heel. Last three. Two. And one. Stand it up. Turn it around. Moving into a traditional push-up, elbows will come back at an angle. So the first time they were really wide, now they're going to come back about 45 degrees. Find a level that works for you. Hands will be a little bit closer than they were that first round. Core stays tight. They're here. Think about a W with those elbows. Have a straight line from knees to top of head. We got last three. Challenge yourself today. And stand it up. Gonna give those arms a break with a good morning stretch. Feet about parallel distance apart. Feet are gonna be parallel, hip distance apart. Hands behind your head. Can you tell I didn't sleep that well last night? My words are everywhere. We're gonna keep a slight bend in our knees. I'll show you to the side. It's a tilt here. And right back up. So really squeeze your glutes at the top. Keep your core tight the whole time. And it's a good morning stretch. Tiny knee bend. Legs don't need to be straight. Go where your hamstrings allow you to go. Maybe it's not down to that upside down letter L. Maybe it's a little bit less today. Wherever you go, you want your back to be straight. This isn't the goal. Straight back. 
and then squeeze your glutes to the top. We have one more for arms. It's a tricep push-up. This time, elbows super close, just like they were in those dips. Hitting the back of your arm for a tricep push-up. Here we go. These are a great one to modify because they're tough to get a full range of motion from your feet. So you're here, elbows stay really close, and press back up. Modified from the knees, keep your tailbone tucked, straight line from your knees, to the top of your head. Here it is. Last one for arms today. You got this. Squeeze your glutes. Elbows rub against your rib cage. Last three. Two. One. Make it the fullest one of the day and stand it up. We're gonna one more for legs and then core. We're gonna finish with the cardio. You're doing great. Feet together this time. Sitting back as low as you can into that tiny chair. We're gonna pretend it's behind you. So feet together, knees together. Sit it back as low as you can and stand it up. So maybe if your low is about a low, as low as your bench, you can do this one over your bench. But if that doesn't seem low enough, flip it around. I'm gonna challenge myself today and flip it around and try to get lower than my bench. Here it is, squeeze those knees, squeeze those thighs at the bottom, and then everything squeezes to the top. Try to keep your chest lifted. Hands where they feel comfortable. Nice job, you got this. Squeeze knees, squeeze thighs. Then squeeze those glutes at the top. Abs are tight the whole time and we breathe. Last three, two, and stand it up, shake it out. Let's do one for core on the bench. So we're gonna be sitting on the bench. Let me flip a little bit so you can see the whole thing. You're going to be sitting on the bench here. Hands can be behind you. And then we're going to go in and out. So legs will bend, lean back, in and out. If you can go all the way flat, try to get all the way flat. Use your hands as little as you need to and keep those thighs glued together. Make it be a little inner thigh work also. You got three. How low can you go for two? And last one. Shoot it out and pull it in. We're gonna end with some cardio. We're gonna end with some mountain climbers. On the floor or on your bench. I'm gonna do the bench today just because it's here and it's a little bit of a different feel for the end of our workout. And it will look like this. One knee drives in, you can walk it out or run it out. Stay with me, this is it. Make sure your shoulders are over your hands, your core is tight. Final push, here it is. Drive your knees in. Can you go quick? Your body's already feeling better than it was when we started. This last push will roll you right into a great day. Halfway through. Can you pick up the pace a little bit? As my knees slip in there, my feet slip in the mud. We're here for five, four, three, two, 
one, stand it up, big breath together. As the wind picks up, exhale, hands to heart center. Let's sneak in a quad stretch here. Hold on to something if you'd like to. Foot comes back towards your glute. Knees stay close. Really nice work today. You got it in, you got it done, despite everything else. Switch it out. Hamstring stretch. This time, feet go a little bit wider than hip distance. If you have a bench or something in front of you, reach it forward. Send your hips back. Maybe you're able to hold on to something like I can and reach through those hands. Release your lower back. Roll it up nice and slow. One more. Let's do a side stretch. Hands come up it over to one side maybe drop that bottom arm for a little bit more stretch come back up through center and last one other way back up nice and tall big breath in exhale it down nice work today thanks for putting up with our outside not so structured workout today despite kids playing and pool construction let's go have a great day